hope and belief will be the feeling of the Taranaki field who are 11 losses on the trot, but today they face the last team they tasted victory against, the Tasman Mako. Tēnā koutou kato e te whānau, no mai haru mai ki Taranaki. Welcome into Yarrow Stadium for the round four of Barrett Palmer Cup. But it is the Mako now on attack and it's a carbon copy of what we saw earlier. Good speed to set, but coming in is John. She pulls it down though. Will she get the advantage, no advantage coming from the referee, but they don't need it because the Tasman Marko are over it through their hooker, Precious Awimatangi. But as you can see, Mal Bosman has been doing her mahi with this Tasman Marko team, getting these girls into a rolling mall. Look how tight they stay in there. And finished off well, like any good hooker should finish, Awimatanga over the line for their first points. This time they're going to kick and try and find some territory. Tracking back are the Marco, surveying her options with Solomona. Out of the wide oak club is Solomona. Logan, Logan with the fake and she's got to accelerate, has no one there in support. Eventually they arrive. There was a good break from the second rower. They've got numbers out to the right if they can get the pass away. No one from Taranaki has folded across the ruck, and that's exactly what they're going to do. See a Tunga with a good vision. Two on one at the moment. Can they finish through Sawira? You bet they can. Great team try through the Marco. It's the simple basics done well, isn't it? Against quite a passive defence side. There's no, there doesn't seem to be any real line speed or pressure. And, and often going up a bit isolated as this Taranaki field side. So if they do want to sort of eliminate those points, As the field get us underway once more, try score it. So we know all the disconnect there between the Marcos. So it's going to be on the side of the field. This is the real it's first attacking opportunity inside the half. Good running from Thornley. She's been brilliant on debut in the opening 10 minutes. And they've got a penalty too. So what can Taranaki do here with their real first bit of possession in this half? And successful she is. So 10 points to three, Tasman lead. So dominating territory at the moment and possession. Ah, Tasman and 70% for both. Replacement, Filimoa goes to the short side. They've found success here before. And it's a big tackle. It could be potentially high. Let's take a listen in. Sorry, girl. Chelsea, it might be the first time I've heard a referee apologise for having to send someone off. You can see the intention was good and she had to make that tackle, but it was just a little bit too high there. Things just got harder for Taranaki with Pearl Kahui off. And again, accurate throwing by Wimitangi at line-out time for Tasman Marko. They're going to keep driving forward. That's better body height, what Chelsea Semple asked for. And she's just going to flop over in the end. Too easy for the Tasman Marko. The Taranaki field, they're just a little bit too high, which allows Tasman to have more power, more control. And at the end, just got over the line easily. Look at this. Eight penalties against Taranaki. Just one for Tasman, and if you've just joined us, Taranaki have one woman in the bin, so it's 15 on 14 at the moment. As they bring it in through Pawaraisa, strong ball carrier, gets the offload away, that's what you want. You want to be running off each other's shoulders. It was the strong run from Pawaraisa and Anglesey to finish, and that is what you do in the back row. And Neve Anglesey just offering fantastic support line to her again. Taranaki's defence, just not getting enough line speed, not getting up to meet this Tasman team, which is allowing the likes of Pawaraisa to get a big momentum in her run. Yeah, it's just simple direct running, isn't it, when you run hard and fast and try and keep the ball alive, looking for those offloads. It looks as though the yellow card is back on for Taranaki Pearl Kahui, so it's 15 on 15 once more, but the Marko have certainly made them pay. Number four not rolling. Again, they 
Pick up another penalty, do the feel, and getting in some space once more is Solomona. Just spied a gap. She's going to go all the way. Does Fialiti Solomona, while well, she got a good run down that left edge just moments ago, this time she is rewarded. She deserves that. Does Solomona. She's looked good with ball in hand all night. And again, Tasman playing with this behind the ball. They've got one runner coming straight, which holds the defense. And then getting the ball in behind the Taranaki team in the end of the day. Strong run from Solomona. It just looked too easy for her. Yeah, that was just great awareness when she knew Sarah Farmer had pushed up high on defense. And give credit to the chase bat, but a defensive misread then and just allowed that gap to open up for Solomona to take over and get that try. Well, the referee has decided, let's just go to half time. So it is the visiting team, the Tasman Marco, leading the Taranaki Field 27 points to three here in the Farah Palmer Cup Championship. Good continuity from the Marco team. Number six offside. As Lotto is there again, you can hear number six offside from the referee. So another penalty advantage. Good advantage, start rolling. And the penalty count really starting to stack up against this Taranaki team. And then it's just drawing and passing at the moment and straightening up for the try is Eva Soweta. And again, it's the continuity and the ball play and passing from this Markle team that's just finding space. And again, they cross over the try line. Yeah, they're able to string together a lot of phases as the Tasman Markle. And what I'm loving seeing is Paua Raisa out here in the back line. Just watch her straighten up. Get the ball to her hooker, who also gives a lovely draw and pass to finish off there. Again, much better stuff at line-out time from the Tasman Markle than what we've seen in the past few games. They've been totally on point. Again, they just get out wide and they've been so good finding space on the edge of <laughs> barnstorming run once more from Solomon and Jeep she might just be part of the field for almost silly medal points today and that woman right there will benefit from a strong run from Solomon Sarah Jones she crosses over for her first try of the game but then spread wide and a great interchange great set of hands and what a storming run from Solomon took three four five Started lucky players to bring her down and still managed to get the offload away. Finished nicely there by Sarah Jones. Great team try, Tasman Marco. So they're on the front foot here. Are uh, the Tasman Marco again just running off the shoulders? They've done it so well. A wee matangi in some space. How about the toe from the hooker? Because they've got options either way. They decide to go through the halfback herself, Ridley, and once more just there, always available for an offload. Uncharacteristic stuff from this Marco team. As they pass the ball out, Mills with the good hands down low. Jones gets the pass away, and Sawita is going to get a hat-trick. And surprisingly, Chelsea, heading into this game, the Marco had the less offloads out of any team. You don't see much better team tries with that. It started with a massive hit from Sarah Jones and a great counter ruck and then seeing the likes of Oi Matangi bustling up the middle of the field, setting a good quick ruck. You see our nine and Ridley having little dabs and just the ability to know where each other's are and, and linking up. I tell you what, this Tasman team are putting other teams in the championship on notice with this performance, up by 36 points, but they're not, they weren't looking like relenting at all. So here go. The Markle again, they've been successful from the driving more multiple times. And they've got to go down the left edge at a Wimatangi. Well, Sawita's got a hat trick and so does the hooker. Yeah, she deserves that, does Oe Matangi. She's been great all day, not just at the back of the ball, but all around the field. Powerful player and she'll definitely be a contender for a few points towards the Fia'o Fa'o Masili medal today. They get up to compete, the Marco, and they've won the ball back. Rewarded for getting up in the air for the contest. Siatanga with the goosey brought down by Muggeridge. An offside play from Muggeridge. She might get sent to the bin here. We're never onside and you're interfered with her. Yeah, fair enough from referee Tiana Nawati. 
They've got Sawita out to the right and they've got players to the left as well. They end up going to the open side and they're a woman down, remember, in this back line. So just need to draw and pass, but Siatanga takes it in to the collision area. Tawaraisa gets the pass away. Johns with the tackle tries to roll, can't get there. And this time it's Tawfat driven backwards, though. This field defence has really started to sturdy up in the second half. Poeraisa with the skip pass to Solomona. She's going to get there eventually. And she picks up her second try, Solomona. And always back her, giving, to, giving her the ball, one-on-one -on -one with the defender. Great finish. And this Tasman team, their wingers, and Solomona and Soida. Again, no shape really being shown from this Taranaki team. They're all just waiting for a one-off run, and they've turned the ball over again, the Marco. It's been a real clinic as Lynn clears the ball, trying to get out to the edge, and that's what they've done so well today. And ball in hand, Solomona, she is going to get a hat-trick, and so deserving as well. There's three Tasman Marco players with hat-tricks today, but it all starts with the attitude of this team on defence. This is good from the field. They yet to score a try in the far Palmer Cup and getting through the middle. Ah, the mark or they might have disrupted this. Ball is available though, so it is still there. It goes backwards. Rupa Pera, Rupa Pera inching forward. As I said, the field have not scored a try in far Palmer Cup this year. Can they do it through Margaret? Yes, they can. The Taranaki feel well, it only took 77 minutes, but they're over the try line through Muggeridge. So 61 points to 10. The Tasman Markle with a comprehensive win over the Taranaki field.